Hello everybody, welcome to Omega Way of Shamanism. Today I am going to be doing a reading for your Scorpio children and we are going to just do a little check-in. So let's do a prayer and we will get into it, okay? May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon soften or restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries. May the breeze blow new strengths into your being. May you walk gently through the world knowing its beauty all the days of your life all right i hope everybody's doing good today i hope you have had a great weekend and i do want to say before we start that not all messages will apply so take what resonates and leave what doesn't all of these messages are to help you kind of check in with your child emotionally and see what they're thinking and how they're feeling Nothing that I say is a shot at anybody's parenting. I would never ever um, try to pass judgment on someone else. I know we're all doing the best we can, okay? So please don't take anything that I say offensively. And if you do, these readings are not for you, okay? All right, what would the Scorpio children like us to know? Taking a shot right out. <laughs> Apparently a lot, right guys? Alright, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. No more cards. Scorpio children, nope. What would you like us to know, please? Scorpio child. What would the Scorpio child like us to know? Thank you. Alright, we'll take two. Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> now these are actually a tarot deck, but, um, hi by the way. I'm kind of keeping my face out of the uh, camera because I've had a lot of spiritual attacks going down lately. So uh, I just prefer to do it that way, but I do want you to see my face so you know it's me and you know I'm not some like crazy weirdo, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so. All right. What would the Scorpio children like us to know, please? And thank you. Ooh. Okay. to take that one back that's so weird that rarely ever happens to me guys but sometimes some cards will flip out and <clears throat> my spirit guys will be like no nah, put that back in because we ain't doing that right now okay one more card nope i said one more card please thank you Okay, let's get into it, Scorpio children. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to put these down a little bit. So I'm feeling that your little Scorpio... You might be going through a divorce right now for some of you, okay? And your child's feeling a little lost about that. They are kind of, I'm seeing a lot of kids that are between 9 years old and 17, okay? And of course every child, when you get a divorce, they are going to have a hard time. I'm feeling like you might be going through a situation where the other parent is extremely vindictive, okay? And this is really hurting your child because, of course, with all children, they want parents to be loving and caring not only for them but for each other. I feel like your child feels stuck in the middle of the situation. I feel like they are feeling like everything's just kind of crashing down on them and they're looking for a an out and when I say an out I mean like an outlet or a pathway or something or somebody that can bring them happiness right now because they feel like they're so consumed in darkness because of this situation. I feel like they Both of you might be focused a lot on this divorce, on this court 
situation that you have going on, okay? And they're feeling a lack of compassion from you. Now, I need you to understand the way that kids perceive things and the way that they're actually happening are two different things, and we should all know that, okay? Just because we're going through a lot does not mean that we're not compassionate or loving to our children, but they may perceive it that way because we might be giving them less attention or we might be angry more often, okay? So just be mindful of that. I am feeling like they feel very in the dark about life and everything around them. I'm feeling like they really need your guidance right now. They are very focused on the ending of this marriage and they are doing their best to try to like blind themselves to it to find anything or anyone that can make them quit thinking about it and i do want to point out that this can be a very dangerous way to feel Please make sure that you are checking in with your kids, talking to your kids, and aware that they're feeling this way, okay? I do want to add again that this will not apply to everybody. I feel like they feel very trapped, extremely trapped in the situation, okay? I'm seeing that their studies at school might be falling under, they might be ditching school they might not be going to school okay and I'm feeling like for some of you this was a thing in the past they are still dealing with these emotions though and they might be going through a lot of these things because you are getting remarried this is some another story you know and maybe they are kind of not over the divorce and everything that's happened maybe you don't get along with the other parent of the child maybe they don't get along with the person that you are getting ready to marry there is quite a different a few different energies here okay so just make sure you are checking in with your children i'm feeling a lot of like depression sadness uh lostness feeling very shut down in a dark place okay Okay, messages from Scorpio child, please. Scorpio child. And I feel like this is more for children that are eight and up, okay? So I'm just going to stick with eight and up, but I feel like. So just, just be very mindful, especially more so for your, your preteens and teenagers, okay? Okay. So the first card you got was growth. I feel like they are really going through a lot of huge changes, not to mention internal and emotional changes as well. And they are very aware of what's going on around them with you, with others around them. I'm also feeling like maybe some people that they are hanging around at school are actually stunting their growth and what i mean by that is they're not good influences i feel like they are actually hindering your child from healing maybe some of your child children might be having issues with like smoking weed or drinking please make sure you are watching that because i'm picking that up from someone failure i feel like your child is really at a point where not only their root chakra is off, but their heart chakra is off. So they're feeling a lot of pain in their heart and they're feeling a lot of, I need to shut down. Also, they're feeling very ungrounded and unbalanced at this time, okay? I wanna tell you that they are feeling partially like the split up with the other parent was their fault. So I feel that you really need to sit down and talk to them about how this has nothing to do with them, okay? And kind of explain to them why things like that happen. If you already have, maybe you want to try a different approach of explaining it to them or to reassure them every once in a while. I'm feeling a lot of children that need reassurance, maybe a lack of confidence, a lack of self-awareness I'm feeling as well. 
indecision I feel like they are just kind of spiraling out of control right now they don't know which way to turn which way to go and I am not necessarily saying that you are not a person they can go to or a trusted source or anything but I feel like they are looking for somebody outside of their parents to go to as a trusted source and they can't seem to find any or more than one and no one that can comfort them if that makes any sense you also got judgment i feel like right now they are judging their heart their self very hard i feel like they're having trouble in every aspect of life and because of that they are literally feeling like a failure they are judging themselves they are lacking self-confidence self-love please give your child extra love extra confidence extra talks extra i love yous extra everything that has to do with love light and compassion okay because i feel extremely strongly that your child is needing this right now okay all right scorpio children what would they like to see all right scorpio oh i feel like they're very scattered right now as well scorpio children to say please thank you Scorpio children anything else for Scorpio children what would you like to see Okay, so you got allowance and cosmic flower first. So I feel like at this time, sorry, let me show you the cards. I feel like at this time, your child is really shut down. They're really not allowing anybody to know how they think or feel unless it is in outbursts, okay? Like when they get really mad and they just like flip out, okay? So you're being asked to ease into what you're saying, how you're approaching them. And like I said, make sure to give them extra love and light, okay? Because they are really needing that from you. I am feeling with, like with Cosmic Flower, they are really feeling like home is not a home right now, okay? You could have just separated recently. Uh, you could be having issues from a separation in a marriage or relationship. And because of that, you could be a little distant. And you being distant is making your child feel like their house is not a home, okay? You need to understand that just as much as you're going through things, they go... Kids go through things 10 times harder, okay? So I know that you're hurting right now, but please try to be aware of the fact that just as much as you are hurting, so is your child, okay? You got prosperity upside down. I feel like your child is thinking that nothing in their life is prosperous. Nothing is going well for them. They are literally having a loss in every area, okay? And that is a very dangerous way to feel. Okay, you might want, I'm not a doctor, but you might want to try to go to family counseling. If you could get your um, significant other, your child's other parent, I mean, that you divorced with to go to counseling with you guys so that you guys could all, you know, um, work out some kind of safety plan and love and affection to show the child that, yes, you're not a unit, but you could still work together and you could still be a family in some sorts. That would be very helpful for your child right now, okay? And then you got conception. I feel like your child really has their head in the clouds right now. They are trying to do anything and everything to escape their day-to-day -day life. And they are just kind of in la-la land. That is also, I want to tell you, a very dangerous state to be in because of the fact that when kids feel that loss that they want to do that they sometimes 
before you get into drugs and alcohol, this could also be a sign that your kid is doing drugs or indulging in alcohol, so please be really, please make sure you are paying attention to that, okay? I'm pretty sure it's like the second time I've said that in the reading, so there really might be something about drugs and alcohol and bad influences and bad friends. Please be wary, please pay attention to that, okay? Messages from the Scorpio child, please. What would, what would the Scorpio child like to say to their parents? My apologies, these ones are uh, are holographic, so they're a little hard to see, okay? So, the first card you got out was impossible things upside down. So, I'm feeling like at this time, your child is really feeling like life and happiness and love and a happy family or a whole home life is extremely impossible right now. You're really feeling lost and alone, okay? So please be aware of that. That's, like I'm saying, I'm, and I'm not here to judge you. Please understand that. We all go through things. I'm just trying to make you aware of what your child is feeling and thinking so that I can help you along your path and make sure that you and your family get the help or emotion or love or advice that you need okay you also got keep your temper okay so i feel like a lot of you because of your situation may be lashing out on your child taking things out on your child and i am being urged to tell you to be mindful okay like i said just as much as you are going through something i feel like you aren't being respectful to the fact that your child is going through these things too. And even if you are being respectful, you're not being as patient or kind as you should be. I want you to take a step back right now and think, if someone treated me the way that I treat my child right now, like, would I be okay with it? And I'm going to say that you're probably going to say no. So I want you to treat your child with the same love and compassion you would expect out of this situation, okay? You got morality <clears throat> right side up. So I feel like because of everything that's going on, your yours and your child's morals might be kind of slipping a little bit. You need to really uphold your morals and standards you need to show your child that morals are important being like owning your shit no like you know what I mean being about it what you say is a good thing and I'm not talking about negative things I'm talking about if you say you're gonna do something do it be a man or a woman of your word okay because your child really needs to see that right now and when you make promises especially at a time like this keep those promises okay because the last thing they need is to have something like this go on and then to continuously get disappointed, okay? So you also got set your course, okay? So again, I feel a spiraling out of control kind of feeling. I feel like your child doesn't know day to day what's going to happen, if they're going to be okay, if they're gonna pull through this, just as well as they don't know that for you. I'm gonna ask you to be strong, okay? And really kind of put your big boy or big girl panties on and start focusing solely on your child right now. I know that you're hurting and you're going through something, but this is about your child. Uh, you are, sorry, you are a grown adult, okay? And you need to kind of suck it up and you need to make sure that your child's okay. Make sure that your child is loved and taken care of and feels secure and safe because in all reality, we're adults. We can heal from things a lot better, but the damage you do to your kids because you are unhealed or you refuse to heal yourself from things like this or refuse to put your emotions or feelings aside so that your child can be taken care of, that that's just not okay to me. I'm sorry. Like... That's not okay, period. I, I don't care what the situation is. Like, your children should always come first. You decided to have these children, and you gave up your right to be selfish 
when you decided to have these children, okay? So what I'm being told to tell you is kind of suck it up. And yeah, you can be sad, you can do whatever, but don't treat your child like crap because of it. And do not let them feel unloved, unwanted, or crapped on because there are things that you have not healed about yourself, okay? Like I said, this is not for everybody. Alright, what would your child like to tell you? What Scorpio child like to tell their parents, please? Alright, let's just go ahead. Scorpio child to their parents. What would Scorpio child like to say thank you? Oh, I didn't know there was two. What Scorpio child like to say? Alright, I'm going to stop right there. So, there's two cards out where less work, more play, and anxious. So, your child is feeling a lot of anxiety. They are feeling stressed out and depressed. They are feeling like you are very centered and focused only on your work or yourself or your endeavors. And... You need to focus on your child. You need to stop worrying about um, what it is you want and need and worry about your child. Now, obviously, I'm not telling you not to go to work, okay? I'm not telling you that. But I am telling you that other than work, you don't need to work overtime right now. You don't need to pick up extra shifts. You need to worry about your child and their mental health, okay? I'm also a healing dad here. So for some of you, I feel like your child is either missing their dad or they're, this dad is the person they are having the problem with, okay? So for some of you, they are not seeing their dad as often as they should, or the dad is absent in their life. Either way, no judgment. I totally get it, okay? I have a daughter with a dad who has never been present. That is okay. Uh, we all have our situations. But for some of you, I'm feeling that your Scorpio child is saying, Dad, you are this person that is being self-centered and sulking and worrying only about yourself uh i'm seeing like toxic friends for some of you drug and alcohol use you are showing your child what exactly not to be and do okay so you need to get it together your child is acting out okay they have done or like some some of them have gone to extreme lengths um showing you acting out that, that they need their dad, okay? Just hanging out with bad people. Um, I'm feeling like for some of you, uh, promiscuity from your daughter because they're trying to get your attention or looking for a man to love them because they feel like you have not adequately loved them or taken care of them, okay? I'm feeling like this card is here and this is not going to apply for everybody because there is a grandpa that was a very bad influence in their life. Uh, maybe some, <clears throat> maybe this grandpa had uh, drug abuse problems or uh, unfortunately a little explicit. There was some sexual abuse problems with a grandfather, okay? That was actually the first time I've gotten a message like that on these. Uh, I'm feeling like your child is lacking complete and utter guidance like they literally feel like they have nobody to turn to no one to go to uh nobody helping to guide them they feel like they're raising their self right now you really need to get it together and if your child i'm hearing this isn't for all of you of course but i'm feeling that your child saying i feel like i'm raising myself that is showing that there's no guidance from mother or father so uh both y'all need to get your shit together Plain and simple, okay? Your child might be interested in art or might be really good at art or might love art a lot, okay? Uh, do artistic or artsy things with them, okay? That's a good way to bond. I am feeling like 
your child is not the biggest fan of math or needs help with math, okay? The joy is upside down. I'm feeling like there is a complete lack of joy in this child's life, which is absolutely horrible for a kid. I'm feeling like I'm talking to a parent where your child has been forced to grow up too fast or has been shown and raised on toxic behavior, okay? Toxic relationships, drug abuse, toxic behavior, take it how it resonates, okay? Because I'm hearing a lot of different things. Sorry, I figured I'd turn that up. Uh, your child's scared right now. They are scared for their future, for their family, for their mentality. I'm hearing for some of you. Um, I would be really careful because for some of you, these this person I'm talking to has a daughter or son. I'm seeing both. That is between the ages of 12 and 17 and they are contemplating suicide. They might be a cutter. They might be on, uh, on like medication for, I'm seeing like depression, bipolar, anxiety, things like that. Okay. They might go to therapy or need to go to therapy. They are truly and seriously scared for their future, for their self, for their current situation, for their parents and for their life for that matter. And if I have any parents like this watching, please pay attention to your children. Please love your children. They need you right now. And if there's children that are Scorpios that are watching this, please go to a counselor. Please go to a police officer. Go to your principal. Go to someone and ask for help, please. Because being like this and being suicidal is not okay. Having parents like this that are not helping they need help as well okay so please go and say something to somebody okay this child that i'm talking about our children are feeling extremely lost they are feeling out of control erratic like they have nowhere to go and nowhere to run and like if they told somebody who would care anyway kind of thing okay and their friends are horrible influences I am feeling that actually almost everybody that they've come in contact with that is not a law official or a like school teacher is a bad influence okay friends family this is not good this is literally the worst reading I've gotten ever Sorry, I love children, so that this kind of stuff really gets me, okay? Like, it makes me want to cry. Because I have children of my own, and if this was my children, I, like, I would just be fucking heartbroken. Excuse my language. Okay. Scorpio child, thank you. No, I'm being told to put that back. Scorpio child, what do they want to say? Scorpio child. that medusa child that medusa child sorry that medusa card has been coming out like it's not really medusa it's actually like i don't know it's probably cleopatra or something but it, it's her hair i swear okay <clears throat> so you got earth guardian okay i feel like your child is trying extremely hard to stay rooted and grounded right now um they are trying so hard to be the adult right now and that's not fair okay Please go seek therapy for your family. Go seek rehab for drug problems or alcohol problems. But take care of your child. Like, they're really struggling right now, okay? And they're really wanting you to know this. Um, you got summer upside down. Your child is really feeling no joy and light in their life. They're feeling no happiness. They are empty. They are depressed. They are suffering extremely mentally okay and some of them physically okay and then you got the air guardian upside down you're being asked to like i said you are being asked to put aside your own wants needs and sadness and take care of this struggling child your child is struggling your child is miserable your child is depressed and some of them are on the brink of suicide 
they are doing drugs they are completely lost they feel like they have no guidance no help no love no nothing do something be a parent right now you do not matter and I don't mean that to sound like a jerk but you don't matter this child that is struggling and messed up matters because like I said before when you decided to have this child you signed a contract to give up selfishness in your wants and needs and put this child first and if you aren't willing to do that take them to somebody who will because no child none in this world deserves that crap okay this is what I have for you I am sorry I couldn't have a better reading for you I hope you all have a good night and uh, peace love and light